Now, it's the time of year when companies plough large amounts of money into advertising in countries celebrating Christmas. In order to hook people in, those often feature stories designed to tug at the heartstrings. Or in the case of one that's gone viral this year, make you think. Online retailer Amazon used a Church of England vicar and a Muslim imam for a message of harmony. And we'll talk to the stars of the ad in a moment. First, here's a quick look at the ad itself. And here they are in our studio, the Reverend Gary Bradley and Principal Zabir Hassan. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Tell me how they found you, first of all. The advertising company wanted to make this story. How did they find you, Gary? Uh, they found me because they were looking at my church as a location, and it just wasn't right for them. But then they said, can we take your photograph? And then they got in touch and asked if, if I'd do the advertisement. And you had no qualms about it? Did they show you the script and you could... Oh, yes, they showed me the, the script. Idea. It was absolutely marvellous. And I thought that this is really something worth doing. So how did you get involved? I got involved because my son took uh, some of my photographs and posted on to the advertising agency. They were looking for somebody who was working um, in the interfaith area. And uh, he said, why go far? My dad will fit the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. So he posted my photographs to the company. The next thing I got a call, says, Zubair, can you come down to London for an audition? And that's when I met Gary. That's right. Yes. And the two of you obviously um, get along. I mean, there's, there's sort of no artifice in that. But of course, you didn't know each other until Not, no. you made this advert together. Exactly. Just, yeah. just on the day. Absolutely on the day. But we're both used to doing interfaith work. And it's absolutely natural for us to form friendships. And it, we literally formed friendship instantly. Yes. How important do you think this message, okay, it's ostensibly all about advertising and commerce and actually buying things, but the message they're using here of interfaith dialogue, do you think it's quite important in this year of all years? I think it is very important, especially with the negative uh, uh, press that we're getting at the moment and uh, to show the harmony that we have between faith groups. This is definitely very, very good. Well, I have noticed in my parish, which has... Um a lot of Muslim people living within it that although we have tried in the past to embrace each other um, and to be friendly and warm, since the ad it's almost as though people have been given permission uh, mm. to be open to each other and so a lot of people have come up and said oh you're the one on that ad and Zubair and so on and it's been marvellous really. Because there are councils of churches and things like that, I suppose, but the interfaith dialogue, does that go on as much, or do you think as much energy is put into that in communities around Britain? I think the energy needs to be put into individual Indiv encounters, That's doesn't right. it? Yeah. You can have every council going, you can issue learned papers, but unless uh, Christians and Muslims meet and speak together, and live together and know about each other, nothing will change. Exactly. In, 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 in my case, where we live in Leicester, Leicestershire, um, we get on fantastically well. In fact, the, the morning of the ad that uh, came out on live, I had the Bishop of Leicester visiting me. <laughs> yeah. So can you imagine it? What, a, what a surprise it was for me. But I do, I get on with everybody and they do know who I am. So this was uh, very good for them in one sense. It came out very good. Yeah. And you're actually, um, or you served as imam in earlier years, but you're yes. actually looking after a school now. That's, That's your right. main job, isn't yes. it? I look so up... the children, the staff, what reaction <laughs> have they had to you being in well, the Well, they, 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 they said, you are our star, you are our hero. You know? <laughs> and uh, around where I live in Odby, everybody who sees me says, can I get your autograph, you see? But uh, I said to them, I haven't reached that status yet. <laughs> but... Uh, very, very pleasing indeed to get that smile on everyone's face. I think that uh, that message of harmony yeah. has given a smile on everyone's face that you can think of. Yeah. 
Well, the, t the harmony you're talking about, of course, could start at school ages. Now, exactly. what happens in your school? Is it all Muslim children? Or no, no, is no. there are some children from other faiths there From too? different faiths as well, and we have regular visits uh, to both uh, schools where the Christian schools come in, we go to other schools. Uh, yes, it's, it's uh, fantastic, yeah, fantastic. And although it's not expressly about the Christian festival, yes. this is the time of the year in the United Kingdom, as in with many other historically or predominantly Christian countries, this is the time for the giving, and hence yes. the gift of the knee pads works quite well. But that's slightly out of sync with Muslim celebrations of Eid and so on. There isn't that tradition of giving gifts, is there, in tinsel and Christmas trees, necessarily? Not, not, not necessarily in that format, but if I have neighbours who are Christians, I'll give them a Christmas card, exchange some gifts. That's normal practice. That's, I think it's what done everywhere. Do? We, it's, yes. not, it's not because we, we've done the ad, but I think that's normal practice, uh, you know, being as neighbours. Yeah. What reaction have you had? In well, your community or It's your been very parish. positive. Uh, we have a little parish school where we have children of all the world faiths and we keep everybody's festivals uh, because we think it's really important that the children grow up in a world where they know about each other and uh, where they can, can rejoice with each other. So it's one big party at my school. Every single um, event is yes. celebrated and within the community people have been very positive, encouraging and warm. So it's marvellous really. The possible downside of that, not to not acknowledge other faiths, but that it feels that maybe your prime faith, your Christian faith, is being diluted in some way. Do you hear that criticism ever? No, I don't. Not from the people in my own parish. Probably if they felt that, if they were fundamentalists, they'd go somewhere else. Uh, but uh, we, we regard it as absolutely vital to learn about each other because there will be no integration, uh, no furtherance of love unless we understand. And it's the, the, the spreading of understanding, which is so important, breaking down those barriers then, of suspicion sure. and uh, prejudice. You couldn't have known, I suppose. You filmed this back in October, I believe? Yes. yes. So you wouldn't have known the outcome no. of the US election, although the campaign, of course, was running and all the rhetoric was going. Do you think this is, in a way, an apposite message? For, this is not just worldwide, of course. It's not, although you two live in, uh, in, England, in England, this is going out around the world. Yeah. Is that an interesting message, perhaps, to be seen and heard in America? I think it is. Yes. I think it is, definitely. I think it's a positive message to the world uh, to say, look, forget the hatred. Let's look at the positive side of religion. And I think Islam is sometimes portrayed very negatively. And in this case, it's been a very positive image. Yes. Uh, a lot of, of my friends have said, oh, Zupe, why have you done the ad? And I'm thinking, look at the positive side that has come out of this ad. And after meeting Gary and what we've done on set, it's definitely proved that we've done something very, very positive, not for just England, but yeah. throughout the world. Yes, I think that's absolutely agree? true. Yes, absolutely true. And um, we've broken that ice, yes. you know, that there was that ice or, of sort of when do I make that first move. This has shown that anyone can make the first move. Yes. And you, of course, now can see the comments um, that come up in the various web pages and yes. so on. You're sort of internet rock stars right now. <laughs> I mean, this, this term <laughs> gone viral is a, yes. bit of, is, is a bit of a misnomer sometimes, but it certainly seems gaining in popularity. And uh, have you had feedback from, you know, friends and family in far-flung places? Yes, I have, uh, and from complete strangers, of course. And that's very interesting, isn't it? It is. Uh, most of it overwhelmingly positive. Yes. Uh, some of it uh, more troubling. I think we've both found, haven't <laughs> yes, we? Yes, yes. As uh, people have um, they feel angry displayed about it? those. I don't think they feel angry. They feel cynical sometimes, mm. don't they? Yes. And left behind and by religion. Yeah, and they're probably looking at more uh, for the... For the average person to do and I think what what we have shown is probably on a level at a higher level but they want the individual the communities at large to get on uh, and I think that message that uh, we uh, got on because he was a, a pre I was a priest and I was an imam sure well here's the big tough challenge to you this season I think is that we've spoken of course it's very nice little film you've made all very cuddly but many people will blame religions of all faiths and choices for a lot of the world's ills when we see the conflict still going on in the Middle East yes. and Syria and so on. What do you tell your faithful in your respective communities this end of year season as to how religion 
is seen to be bl blamed for that conflict? I think religions can be used by other forces, and we have to guard against that. Uh, but I think we both believe that uh, growth and development begins on an individual communication basis. It's a Christian talking to a Muslim, Muslim. understanding. And the peace of the world begins with peace between two people. And we work for that. I agree. And that's where we need We start the foundation. Mm. And if we set the foundation right, and as you'll see that we have troubles all over the world, and people are hijacking religion to get their aim across. Um, but from an Islamic point of view, from a religious point of view, uh, the message of peace is always there. But then you have the radicals. That doesn't mean you don't look at the positive side of what the message which we are giving, no. which is purely on, on a very good Islamic uh, and a Christian, Christian message, which is of peace. Okay, I have two brief questions. Do you have bad knees? <laughs> Terrible knees. <laughs> Stereo. You do? Yes. So it's perfectly opposite the present. Okay. It's very and do you want to do some more? Have you got a taste of this? You wanted to be an actor one time, didn't you? I did, yes. yes. Do you think yes. you're going to return to it now? I, if they offer me, yes, I'm open. It, it all depends on the offer. <laughs> it all depends on the offer. <laughs> what about you, Principal? What do well, you think? We've been, I've been offered to say if we can do a, 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 a comedy duo. In, uh, oh, yes. Uh, we said, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll have a go. Yeah, yes, we'll consider. Fantastic. <laughs> we'll have you back when that starts. Lovely to meet you both. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you. And it's good to finish the programme where we often feature disagreement to end on a cheerful and collaborative note. That's it from me. I'm Martin Stanford. That was Insight.